guys, this is Aaron Zebra, and I am going to be playing Night 2 of Five Nights at Candy's. I know I said I'd be doing Undertale, but I have a little bit to do today, so I just decided I have a short little moment of time to do something, so I thought I'd do uh, Five Nights at Candy's. So let's get into this. Night 2. screen takes forever. <laughs> so, if you guys didn't notice, I am going to be quiet to the phone calls so you guys can hear them. Because I'm a good person. Yay for me. You have one message. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see? I told you you'd do just fine. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd mention, uh, we, we have this little, um, uh, list of, uh, <clears throat> problems, uh, that we have observed with the animatronics over some time. Uh, it, it's, it's nothing to be concerned about, but, but the animatronics do have a few minor glitches, uh, yeah. Uh, we're of course trying to get them fixed, uh, but you should know some of them so you don't get, uh, uh, nervous if you hear anything. Let me see, um, the animatronics sometimes start to walk around on their own. Uh, sometimes in the morning we find them in the strangest places, <laughs> uh, so you may see them walking around while you're here. Uh, let me see, some of their sensors are a bit wonky, uh, 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 oh, and in case the animatronics is experiencing violence towards a guest, the animatronic will try to seek out the cause and, uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea how it decides to do that, but it, it doesn't seem to mind it with the children, though. It, it's, it's weird. If, the, if there are children playing cops and robbers, you know, and one of them gets shot, you know, uh, the animatronics don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Um, except after that day, uh, the animatronics don't really seem to function properly around adults. Uh, especially not around the staff. Uh, yeah, the animatronics seem to ignore you most of the time, you know, unless you come near them. And they just turn their heads and look at you. Like, as if you just told a bad joke. <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, but, yeah, we kind of had an accident about a month ago. It seems to have, like, traumatized their systems or something like that. Uh, anyway, we replaced the faulty animatronic with some brand new ones. Yeah, so he's stored way in the back until we can get someone to fix him. Anyway, if I were you, I'd keep the other ones at a distance and, uh, use the doors if you have to. Um, that would be it for now. Uh, ha have a good night.
I forgot I was recording again. <laughs> um. So anyway, guys. <laughs> um. Chester was at this door, and I closed it. And I don't know who that is, but you're not welcome. I think that's can. Yeah, that's can be, but I think that's another door. Now I can't tell if this means she's about to jump in here. Or not. Hmm. Wait, she didn't make noise though. I thought they'd make Boys, oh man, I was gonna see if these kittens um meow though if they Oh okay. Oh the hamburger's like the cupcake and okay, I get that. So fun. <laughs> I hear noise, but I'm not Okay. I still hear the music though, I don't know what that means. There isn't a music box in this game, I don't think. Oh wait, Chester's close. <laughs> Keeps the the room really light up. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Because <laughs> at first I was like, "Is it? It's so light in this room." Not used to that. But now I'm pretty sure it's kind of dark in the rooms. No one nears my doors, that's good. Chester's probably back at, yeah, I think. Unless he's here. There should be a couple of Easter eggs that I want to do here. Like... I think if I click on... Um... This right here, a Markiplier thing will happen. Easter egg, and if I click on... If I can find it, there should be a... come from this do door. I was gonna, okay, never mind. <laughs> Yay, 6 a.m. We survived. Oh, let's get this one. Going on, 